Master Wayne, I got you a Christmas present. Is it justice? No. Is it my parents being alive? No, sorry, sir, but I got you a new suit and tons of fun gadgets for you to play with. Alfred, this is awesome! And it comes a black, my favorite! How'd you know? You get a hug of justice! Alfred, why are you so good to me? It's because, Master Wayne, I was visited by three spirits in the middle of the night. Wait, what? I was saying, if you got an issue, here's a tissue. I still wish my parents were dead. Need a suit up for justice and get your Dark Knight Hot Toys Batman Armory 1 6 scale set at Big Bad Toyster.com. Links in the description. Well, big kids, here's your big review of the Dark Knight Hot Toys Batman Armory with Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth Movie Masterpiece 160 Collectible Set. Now, this is a part one of two review. I'm going to focus on the Armory and the Batman figure itself. If you want to see a review of the Alfred and the Bruce Wayne, I'll have an annotation or link in the description for that. So, this box is huge, and this is the set that has, of course, Alfred and Bruce Wayne. Very nice black and white picture. It has this yellow line that uh, separates that, has the Dark Knight symbol. Batman Armory with Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth, MMS 236 16L collectible. The top and sides of the box says Batman Armory with Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth. Back of the box shows the credits of all the people that made this amazing set. There's a lot of people involved with it. And on the bottom here has a big old warning label. Warning you want to choke on your Batman Armory has so many pieces that you could choke on justice. And the way you would open it up, you just take it out of here. And when you open up the box, you get two layers of plastic trays. The first being the Batman figure, the Alfred and the Bruce Wayne and all their accessories. And the second layer being the actual armory itself. I think it's time for Batman to suit up for justice. Now the Batman you get with the set pretty identical to the DX12 with four new bases that are interchangeable which I'll show here but that's not a bad thing at all because I love the DX12 even includes the purr system which I'll include or show here in a second but yeah from head to toe this is the best 1 6 scale Christian Bale Batman from the Dark Knight uh, we've gone in and the and the Dark Knight Rises too at least because uh, the costumes were pretty similar I don't think they had any differences whatsoever which is uncalled for for um, comic book movies they always change out costumes for every sequel at least for Batman we've gone in that and Iron Man but I love that it has the mesh and the boots and everything about this like I said I've, if you've seen my DX12 review you know what to expect but I love the mesh and the rubberized material and the utility belt, this is one of many you get. The one without the cape is the one that comes with the armory, and the one on the right is the DX12. You can see they are pretty much identical. For articulations, the exact same as the DX12. It's on the magnet right here. The head can look up and down really good. If you want to put this on the bat pod, you can do a nice bat pod riding. Plus, this neck piece does fully rotate, and it has a little bit of neck pivot on both ends. Now, the arms, just like the DX12, this costume is restrictive. The shoulder pads are on a little springy part right here you can move them up probably about that much sadly I know but you can go out that much which is great and it does have rotation at the bicep you can move in like that much he does have two uh, points of elbow articulation but this part does hinder it and you can see here the wrists do uh, rotate and go in and out but because of the gauntlets they do have a tendency to pop out so be careful about that he does have an ab crunch forward and back but the costume does restrict it as well as the waist articulation does move left and right the legs can only go down much sadly go back he does go that much in the stance rotates the upper part of the leg bends at two points at the knee but uh, it does seem to go forward a little bit more um, because of the costume the ankles do are on the separate joint right here so he can fully rotate and he has an ankle pivot side to side just like the dx12 he has the purr system and you do get this tool that will help you use it and this little part right here is used to move the little joystick part so that way you can move his eyes left and right up and down however you want it it works really good this part right here of that same tool is used to pop out the mouthpieces let me show them off before i put them on so the first mouthpiece you get is this why so serious face which is the pretty neutral one of the four that you get then the next one you get is this kind of open mouth one which him is like speaking i can get him to talk then the next one is more of a teeth grinding kind of like rachel where is he kind of face and this last one, I like to call the kissy face. It just totally looks like a kissy face. So you take that tool, you just pop out. This works just like the DX12 see a pattern here. And then you would put 
uh, the face right in there. <clears throat> you want a kiss for the new year? <clears throat> a kiss of justice. And you get a very, very detailed instruction manual on how to do all the features of the Batman figure and the armory. It is super detailed and yeah, it's really long. Sean Long. Now this Batman only comes with six hands. He comes with a fist of hands that are equipped on the figure. He comes with these hands that are made for holding his grapnel gun or the sticky bomb gun. And he comes with one hand that's like an open a palm hand, I guess the hold for like his sticky bombs and one to hold uh, battering. And he comes with extra wrist pegs in case you break them. Now you do of course get a cape with your Batman fear because it's not Batman without the cape. This cape is very nice. It's not as nice as say the DX02 cape. I still prefer it. It's very similar to the one that DX12, uh, but I think a little bit better. Um, it does have a little bit of wire here and the way you put it in just like how the other ones you put these little slots right there. It's always been a little tricky. This one bunches up uh, around here which I wish it flow a little bit nicer like off his shoulders. It does look nice and more screen accurate than the DX02 cape but I just like how the DX02 cape flows better. Batman comes with so many attachments just for his utility belt alone. He comes with four of these what they're called attachment A. These work with a few different things. He works with like his utility pouches or like the two pouches that uh, he uses probably for so many <laughs> many different things so you can see there's holes right there little tabs there's a big hole on the top a little hole on the bottom so you push it in there and you can decide anywhere you want to put it it's so customizable and you get four of these attachment b's now these are made for the uh, folded up battering it's actually uh, molded like it's folded up it doesn't actually unfold sadly but you, then you would just place it in there and then it has a little clip put it like right there if you want to then you get attachment c now this is made for the smaller batterings you just place it like right in there then you can just clip it on to the utility belt make sure the battering doesn't come off of course and there's batman's utility belt fully loaded you can attach even more things on there or you can have it just without any of these attachments i love the display option now let's get on to the armory now before i show off all the accessories and put them on there it looks really nicely detailed and screen accurate this is what it looks like all close up. Comes with a separate Dark Knight uh, base, which does elevate it just a little bit. It just put on there. You know, it's not magnetized or anything, but this thing is just amazing. This thing, wow, so freaking cool. I mean, just the amount of detail on there, even when nothing's in here, it's just so freaking cool. It does have some articulation. You can actually open this up right here. It has foam encasings for all the billions of accessories you get in there, which won't be fun to put in. You also get these real die-cast metal hanging pieces for the actual uh, Batman figure. It has even more articulation with encasing for these sets right here. It has hinge joints to bring these out. These ones don't have any joints, sadly. And you can see here, it does have foam encasing for all the accessories in there, as well as um, on these ones too. And even the back, opens up too. You can pull this back right here. And of course, Hot Toys provides all the accessories for this armory in one, two, three, four different foam encasings with all these accessories. These come in the same foam encasings that are actually on the armory, which I kind of wish Hot Toys did the work for us and to make us have to put on there. You get like the grapple gun, which does, uh, you can cock back in there and you can actually add little grapples and it has the grapple holder and it has the little pieces you can actually attach to the grapple gun, which is amazing. It has little like grenade shells and more attachments, more batterings, it even has like a little needle uh, accessory and it has a utility belts and you also get the back of the utility belts that are separate there. By the way, you do get the clear tool that we got in with Iron Man figures to help remove all these to put them into the casing. Then in set B, you get even more stuff like cutters and you got this nunchucks right here. You got a sword, do you always saw, or I think that's what it's called. You got uh, more grapple gun ammo right there. You got the sticky bomb gun. Now you actually get five of these, but what makes this one special, it actually has magnets. This works the same way as we got in the DX02 and the DX012. You just kind of fold this up right here and separate this, of course, and then you fold this up and push this in and then fold this in and then fold that in. Oh yeah, by the way, you can rotate that. And you got set CDE that has all the batterings and pouches and tubes for his utility belt. Then you got said FGH, which has his folded up batterings, more stuff for his utility belt. Uh, he has clips for his uh, grapnel gun. 
and he has little bath bombs. Then you get 10 of these clips for the sticky bomb gun to hold, to hang for the doors of the bad armory, and you get these smaller clips to hang just like the full um, sticky bomb gun, however you so desire. Well, time for the fun part where I put all this into the bad armory, so I'll see you guys in there. We got the bad armory finally complete with all the accessories in there. Holy crap, it takes a while. All the little pieces that are on there, you got one sticky bomb gun there, got grapple guns and all its clips and shells and pouches, oh my god, and the nunchucks and saw and darts and needler and all that stuff, oh my god, it looks so cool. Bottom swords levels have all the batterings on this one, we got uh, utility belt pouches and tubes and more bombs and the folded up batterings. By the way, I like how this piece looks like a bunch of uh, four batterings all in there. It's really cool. More uh, pouches and tubes right there. The sides of the armory, you can hang one sticky bomb gun. You can even put it in two pieces. I also have it on the other side to keep it symmetrical. But this is not just to hold Batman's weapons, it's to hold his suit. So let me uh, prepare the figure. Now the way this works, you want to remove the head and the neck piece. You actually get a whole lot of Batman cowl and a neck piece. This piece uh, is removable and you can see. You can't actually put this on a Bruce Wayne figure, but it actually has an empty cowl on there. You just stick it on the suit right there and it'll plug in. Now you have to remove the hands and the pegs inside them too. After you remove the hand and the wrist peg, you get these little stoppers you actually plug in there. Do it for uh, both sides right there. The next step, you actually have to remove the boot and the foot peg right here. Once you remove the boots, you actually get this clear plastic piece that actually pegs into the hole right there. You just place it right there and this will actually put into your armory. Do for both sides right here. Then this little part right here, you actually want to make sure that it lines up with the pegs so that way it, you can hold this into uh, place. And what you want to do with these metal hangers, you want to make sure they go in the hole where the cape uh, was in. And then you just kind of line these up right over the shoulder uh, pieces. Hot Toys included this one piece that you actually put inside the boot. That way you can actually use it when it's not in Batman mode or when he's just in the armory. So you just peg these together. Do it for both of them right here. And you can place them right next to the uh, bat suit. And there you got the bat armory finally all set up. Whew, it's quite a process, but man, does it look freaking awesome. This one looks definitely movie accurate. Like I said, the boots are right there. And yeah, this thing looks so cool. But what makes it cooler? A light up feature. Hot Toys provided a remote that says the Dark Knight right here. Has a button and comes with the battery that you just installed right there. You actually install three AA batteries in here. You just unscrew them, put them in. And the switch for it is right here. It has on, off, and remote. So I have it to remote. Press the button. The sensor is right there on the side pillar. And yeah and when you open it up and see how cool this looks in low light settings this thing is just one awesome display piece size comparison time so here you can see the hot toys bat armory compared to the toy legends one that one definitely is taller by half an inch the hot toys one is about 14 and a half inches tall you can see the differences in the paint apps and i do like that the hot toys actually has a full-on figure where the toy legends one was just the suit that was imposable at all and you can see how much taller it is than a Hot Toys Bruce Wayne that comes with it. Now Hot Toys has really outdone themselves making an amazing diorama piece and definitely the centerpiece of your Dark Knight Batman collection. This thing is so freaking awesome. Not only the fact that you're pretty much getting the DX12 Batman with new face plates and tons of accessories. I mean look at this thing. There are so many accessories it's just I've lost count. LED lights, the remote control just puts it over the top than the Toy Legends one. The Batman with the armory itself. That's 384 499 which you can get at bigbadtoystore.com that it equals out $200 for the Batman figure and then $185 for the armory itself that's a great deal and if you add the Alfred that's just $524.99 which that's just an extra $140 and then if you add the Bruce Wayne that's just another extra $100 and that's why I got the Bruce Wayne Alfred because it's the best deal this thing is tedious when putting in all the little armory pieces but you have the choice of displaying it like how this is with the suit just in the armory or you can have the Batman be fully equipped with a million different accessories. I mean, there's so much fun factor and this just looks freaking badass. I absolutely love it. You can buy this right now at bigbadtoystore.com. If it's sold out, you can go to the Sideshow Collectibles links in the description. If you want to know how I feel about Alfred and Bruce Wayne, check out part two of my review. Link is in the description or click on the annotation. Check out my website at seanxlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long. Remember, live long and love life. Oh, what a night. It was hell. I smell 
The Batmobile lost the wheel and the Joker got away. Not still Wayne, aren't you gonna put your toys away after playing with them? No. Why not? Because I'm Batman. No, you are a brat, man. And if you don't put away your toys, you won't get any dessert, so do it. But, but I'm Batman. You are a brat, man. Now do it or no dessert. A Batman gets dessert. I like cookies. Cookies of justice. It's time for phase two of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What? Yeah, since we're part of the same Disney family, we add some clone troopers to fight off our Ultron army. Plus, we need a new captain that doesn't just use a lame weapon like a shield. What do you use? I use my blasters, of course. Dude, you're so much cooler than Cap Lame America. 